Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a rewind plan with me and this is just a look back on my last one. It was the hashtag closet goals I believe kit from Crest Press and it was very pink but I think it turned out really really pretty. So I was proud of that but let's move into this week here. I'm using a pretty sheepy kind of kit. I just have these two sheets here. It's like my up spread that I did um, and I'm super excited about this. I love Mulan so much and I'm I'm extremely excited because I just got the um, Simply Gilded box with the like cherry blossom or what did she call it? Sakura um, Bloom Mystery box. Is that correct? I don't know. But I did pull out um, glitter headers for this kit because I could find some. So I'm going to do this yellow. These are all from Scribble Prints Co. Um, and then this blue and I think I wanted to do this darker red, yeah. Um, so those are going to be my glitter headers for the week. And then, like I said, I have Simply Gilded Washi here that I'm going to pull in throughout. These top three are from the monthly kit. And then this one is probably one of the first Simply Gilded Washies that I ever got, but it's like a burgundy with a rose gold um, bow. So I don't have as much as I did when I did the up kit, but that's why I have glitter headers here. And I also have tons of other boxes and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead, put all the basic stuff down, and then I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so there is everything laid out. I did not forget about the flags. I'm just going to put them on after I do this sidebar area. So I saved this box here because it already had Mulan in the corner. Um, it's the same box as this one, just more decoration. So we're going to put that in. And I did go ahead with the little um, deco pieces that came on that sampler sheet. Put those in just, just for a little something extra. Um, on each of the full boxes during the week. Um, that's the only thing that I don't totally love about getting kits this way is that I feel like most of the time the pattern boxes are just kind of plain. Um, if I am doing like a busier week, I think it works out nicely. Um, because then I can put stuff in the actual full boxes, but for weeks that aren't very busy and um, that I don't want to cover up the full boxes, I need to add a little something on top. So I didn't have any habit trackers that match the colors of this week. So I pulled in this like Instagram tracker that I had from the organizing companion who is no longer around. Um, and I'm just using this Stella Bow toothbrush sticker to turn it into a habit tracker for that purpose. Um, and then I'm going to put in another glitter header here kind of clashes because they're all different colors of blue but that's fine um and then i'm going to put in one of these jackson pepper weekly ombre trackers um for dinners this week and then we'll do 
this um, yellow glitter header with a sweet kawaii design heart checklist and this one's just pink and this is going to be for marking the videos that I was supposed to upload but didn't because <laughs> I'm horrible <laughs> um, but I had like a really tough week and so just being nice to myself was essential to me getting through so that is that I'm tempted to put like washi underneath but I don't know because I have like those two yeah let's just do let's do some washi I'll do the same washi from the bottom washi and I'm actually going to cover up this heart a little bit because I only had four videos, I believe. Yeah. So I don't really need the bottom heart anyway. But I do need to get rid of these lines because you'll be able to see them. This washi here, the Sakura Bloom one, is so pretty. And it's not like super foiled either. So it's very minimal and pretty and cute and dainty. Um, and this one, I feel like if I'm going to ever use up a roll of Simply Gilded Washi, it's going to be this roll right here. Um, probably just because I've had it for the longest, but also because, I don't know, it just feels so skinny. <laughs> I don't even know that I've used that much of it. I can't remember using that much of it. But obviously, I have. I can't, I just can't remember on what. I feel like this is a color that I love so much, but not a lot of kits have. So... There's also that. Okay, so there is that. Really, really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead, fill out the sidebar, get everything ready to go. Oh, I didn't put in my flags. Let me do that. So I have these Clever Girl Crafts flags. I'm gonna do the pink ones. This is her Sophie Pink colorway. Um, and put that in up top. I also could not find any, um, what are they called? date cover-ups so no date cover-ups this week I haven't done any spread really in a long time <laughs> without date cover-ups so it feels very strange I'm actually gonna white out all of this um, like wording about the holidays because um, I would cover up a majority of it but not all of it with the flag so there's that all right, now I'm gonna fill out the sidebar and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, let's jump into this. So Monday, I didn't have any class. It got canceled like last minute and it was one of those like beautiful moments where I woke up and I'm in the habit of just checking my email right away when I get up because usually like, I don't know, a class will be canceled or it's a good way to like know if anything major is coming up that day or, I feel like I get a lot of emails in the middle of the night um, about, you know, either random stuff or important stuff that I need to know going into the day. So even if I don't, like, answer emails, I just, like, roll out of bed and check them. Thankfully, I did, though, because then I got to, like, roll right back over and go to sleep because I didn't have class. So I have my Happy day -a, no class stickers. And then I got... What I do? Oh, I went and had like brunch with um, my friend. So I have these really cute um, like brunch stickers from Simply a Mess. I haven't used these yet. Um, but we went to Denny's. So to mark that, I have all of these like label stickers over here. So I need to figure out which one I want to use. I guess we could do a yellow label. These are from Planting Roses. These were some of the first labels she like ever came out with. So, I'm trying to use them up, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, so we'll put this in here. I feel like yellow is a color that I just like never use. Um, so we'll mark that. And then what happened? Oh, I went and got my shots. So, oh, these are also yellow. Bummer. Well, I guess I could do a blue one. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll do the other one yellow. So I went and got my shots this day, and that was that was about it um, before I went to work. So for work, 
I'm going to use these work labels this week, um, which are from Scribble Prints Co. I think I'm going to do these red ones. And there's not really like a blue or an orange, so I guess we'll do these. I worked, I guess I only worked three days this week, um, but I kind of worked four, but the other was like a party. I'll get there. Um, so yeah, work on Monday, um, which work this week was very sad. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just, the family was a mess, I was a mess, it, this whole week was just a mess. So um, I'm going to put in a piece of washi in between here. I think I'm going to do these like larger bows. These are like the all rose gold foiled... Um, what is this called? Actually, I'm going to put in this other sticker first and then put those in. Um, but it's like the reverse bow. That's what she calls it. And they're rose gold and they're so pretty. Um, but when I got home from work, I actually sent out some emails regarding jobs that I was applying to. I was sending out my resume to some contacts that I was given. So I sent those out. And it doesn't look like I can use the larger bows but I can use these smaller ones um so yeah I spent a good amount of time writing the email proofing the email sending the email <laughs> um because I wanted it to like look nice it wasn't like I was just sending a random email um it was basically a job application so I did that and then I went to bed um because that's just how Monday was so then Tuesday, it was Miri's birthday, which is the little girl that I watch. Um, so I'm going to put her birthday there. These are from Clever Hall Crafts. I need another one, so I'm just going to hold on to that, making a sticker sheet out of my arm. Um, and then what happened? Oh, I had class this day. So I have my class labels here. I think I'm going to do the same thing, only reversed use the lighter red and then this one because I only had class three days this week um, so we'll put this in like so this was my longer day for class but whatever um, and then very exciting <laughs> I got a response to one of the emails that I had sent the night before saying that um, they would like to have an interview with me and so I scheduled it um, and it was very exciting, and I was super duper happy and hoped that everything was going to go well. <laughs> and the other thing that I was excited about was that it was like, um, you know, it wasn't just like an internship position or anything like that. Like, it was supposed to be an entry-level job that I was being offered, um, or that I was entering sorry, not offered, interviewing for, um, which was different than like some of the other stuff that I had been applying for. Um, because they were just, like, internships and stuff so that I can, you know, work up in a company or work up some experience and stuff like that. Um, because I know that I'm not as, I'm not as great as everybody else. <laughs> um, so there's that. And what happened after? Oh, I had my appointment after, after school. But yeah. So... I, I did learn throughout this process, though. I don't think it's really fair for me to say, like, I, I don't have, like, as good of a shot as other people. Um, I don't think that's fair f to say about myself, because I do. Um, I just never think about the experience that I've had in that way. Um, but not until I, like, started to fill out job applications did I realize that, like, I've done a lot of this stuff that, like, HR people do, but I just never had the title. Um, these are from Toffee Bananas. This is like a sampler. So, yeah. I'm being hard on myself because I had a tough week. But I do, I do have the experience. Some places would say that I don't. Some places would say that I do. Um, and I think it's just all how you look at it. Um, so yeah. I had my appointment here. And then we had family night this night. So I have these at Moonlight Paper Co., Family time stickers, which she is no longer shop, sadly. Um, but what color do I want to use? I guess we'll do yellow. And put this 
Should I put it on something? I feel like I should. I could put it on this washi here. And then um, this night we had like a bachelor marathon um, where we watched the two episodes. We watched the one that was on Monday and then the one that was on that day. Um, and so for that I have it these Fox and Cactus Cats stickers. Um, and I like using, I use this one in my planner, but it's the one with the two of them on my couch. And I always end up laying this way, like, <laughs> across, um, just because, I don't know. I can, I cannot sit still. Like, I don't have the patience or anything to just sit still and do something. Um, and then I'm gonna squeeze in this little label here from Scribble Prints Co., down here at the bottom because this was real important to mark um, that we had sherbet while we were watching this. I was like craving sherbet in like an unhealthy way this day. <laughs> so um, we had sherbet and I was very happy about it. But these are from Wishy Washy Paper Co. They're like her ice cream stickers, but I didn't have sherbet stickers. So we're rolling with it. Um, okay, so that was Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday class again so we'll put that at the top here and then I had my shots right no I got Chipotle this day which was amazing so I have these little burrito stickers from Pretty and Primco and should I put this on a label yeah why not I'm gonna do one of these like blue ones from Planning Roses. That's another color that I feel like is underused, like a navy blue. Okay, so that's there for Chipotle. And then I had my shots, like I said. So we have these from Lexi Kylie Designs. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in a piece of this washi down at the bottom of that day to like break things up a little bit. Um, this was from the mystery box but this has like the actual flowers on it which is pretty cool all right let me move this though there we go i don't mind if the sticker overlaps the washi but if the washi overlaps the sticker then that bothers me okie doke so there's that this is a really pretty washi i hope that there's like other spreads that i can use this with but i was so excited um, when I realized that I was doing the Mulan spread this week um, after I had hauled this kit. Because I plan like my kits at the beginning of the month before the month that they're going to be in. So sometimes I forget like what spread I'm doing when. So when I opened this I was very excited to see that I got to use it so quickly. Um, okay, so after my shots I went to work. So we'll put this in like so and then um, when I came home I had to walk my dog so I have these from Pumpkin Paper Co and I think I'm just gonna put that in like this and like right up here and then we had Panda this night um, I love me some Panda <laughs> so I'm gonna use another Wishy Washy Paper Co sticker these are her like takeout little guys and I'm gonna put that in there I kind of want to put it on a label, but not yellow. Let's see. I just used that red. Um, maybe it's time that I whip out... Oh, these are pretty. Okay, I'm going to do one of these from P Pimba Planner. Um, we'll do this pink one and put that in here. I haven't gotten to use her labels yet, so this is fun. Okay, so there's that for Panda. And that's the first half of the week. And then let's move on over to Thursday. It was, oh my gosh. She even told me how to say her name, and I totally forgot. Alkira, right? Yes. No, yes, no, yes, maybe. I'm gonna look it up when I fill out the spread. <laughs> but I think it's Alkira. I don't know. I'm sorry if I butcher your guys' names. I feel bad about it. Um, but it's also so hard to remember. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Anyway, so it was her birthday. I hope you had a spectacular birthday. Um, and then I had class. 
So we'll put that in underneath. This was another long day. Um, and this was also like an awkward day. <laughs> um, so one of my professors like offered to donate to um, something that I worked on at my previous college. Um, but it just like the way that everything happened, it just kind of like, I don't know. I didn't want people to think I was like being weird, um, but it ended up working out fine. It was just a moment of kind of like, is everything going to be okay? Like if this happens, um, so yeah, it was all good and he graciously donated. So I was very happy about that. Um, cause it's, it's for the play. I mean, if you guys have been following me, like basically since I started, um, I worked, oh, I could do the green. I didn't even think about that. Let's do green. Um, I worked on helping establish like an annual play at my junior college that um, serves as a way to raise money for um, a like community outreach type program um, where the college is located and um, they help women and girls who are in need or who have been um, victims of abuse. So yeah, I'm like very passionate about that project that I worked on. Um, and I had just recently like gotten information about how the program went this year um, and it went really well. And so it's really nice to like hear that it's still, it's still going and it's still thriving. Um, after the first year that I did it, because the first year that I did it was the, my last year at that college. So, and I had heard about it last year, um, but they got to move into like a bigger auditorium and they now have like vendors and stuff like that. So it just makes me really proud. <laughs> um, okay, so then I started reading, what is that book called? Pillow Thoughts, which is like a poem book. Um, so I basically read like 100 pages in 15 minutes, but I haven't read it since, so I haven't finished it yet, um, but I'll probably finish it on Monday. Um, and then I had to go and do um, like an interview for a project that I was doing, not like a job interview, um, but I had to go interview someone who works in HR for a project for one of my classes. Um, so I'm just going to use one of these bows from Scribble Prints Co. I'm going to use a yellow one to mark that. And that went really well. Um, and then I got home and I pre-planned. So I'm going to use one of these sweet bean plans, like... I know they're coffee carts, but I don't know why I just want to use them for, like, planning. I don't know. But these are Mulan themes, so, like, how could I not use it this week? Um, so I'm going to put in this label here, just because I really want it off my hand. <laughs> and then we'll put that in. Um, and that's Thursday. And then Friday, what did I do? Oh, this day. This horrible, horrible day. <laughs> so, I woke up, and this was the day that I was supposed to have my interview. Um, mind you, I've been, like, in the midst of an eczema flare-up for the past, like, week and a half, so my skin just, like, absolutely hates makeup right now. Um, and, like, <laughs> that's nobody's fault. Not even my own fault. Um, it's just the way my skin is. So I put on makeup because it was a FaceTime interview. I put on professional clothing because that's what you do for an interview. And um, it came time for the phone call to happen. These are from Page Plans, whom I don't think has a store anymore. So I can't link her. Um, but yeah, so I spent all this time getting ready. I even like flat ironed my hair, which like I never do. But I was trying to look professional. I was really going for it, guys. Um, so yeah, I did all that and I was prepared and I called at 11.15. I was very prompt and she texts me and says, oh, sorry, like I'll call you right back. Um, I'm stuck in... Um, I'm stuck in a phone call or something like that and I was like no problem so I waited and I waited and then it came to be 1 30 and I had to go to work 
<laughs> so I texted her and I said, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to have to reschedule. I have to get to work. And I have yet to receive a response from her. So I don't know if she's mad at me. I don't know if I did the wrong thing. I don't, I don't know. But it just, it essentially turned into me like being concerned about myself and feeling worthless and it just, you know, all the spiraling that happens when you are an anxious individual and you have concerns about things. Um, so I did treat my, well, I drove to work and I was early to work, so I got McDonald's and ate my feelings, <laughs> which is what I wrote in my main planner. Um, and it was just one of those days, like, I even told the kids that I work with, I was just like, I... Like, I just want to cry today. Like, I don't want to do anything else. I just want to sit here and cry. Um, so yeah, that was my Friday. It was horrible. It was heart-wrenching. I wish it never happened. Um, and all the while, like, that's not the only thing that was going on. I mean, like, of course, the world just works in the way that you have, like, ten things going wrong, and then you have something exciting happening, and that goes wrong as well. And then you go to work and you have a ten-year-old have a fit and scream at you and that's just like the topper <laughs> so I went to work that happened I came home I had to clean up because I had stickers all over my desk and it was driving me crazy and then I just basically laid in bed and like wallowed in self-pity so that was my Friday it was fill in the blank <laughs> so there's that and then on Saturday I slept in because I feel like what else was I supposed to do <laughs> um so I'm gonna put in even though I use this in the bottom washi I feel like it's gonna be the perfect background washi for my sleep in sticker which is from toffee bananas um and then as if my week wasn't great enough hint hint sarcasm I got to go to this 10 year old's birthday party this day oh my oh my guys <laughs> so like the whole reason why she had like a tantrum was because she got an extra like I don't I don't even understand why she was upset like she she loves doing crafts and so she wanted to do some sort of craft at her birthday and so her mom who by the way like was having a horrible week went and got the craft and then got an extra craft to do so it wasn't like she took anything away and then like when she got home on this day she found out that like that had happened and she like threw a fit and was like I want to cancel the party and like just so much happening um and then it was just, it was a lot. Um, so I got to go to her party and it was like a dance theme party. And that's why I went was because she wanted me to teach a dance class. Um, Cause you know, that's what every 10 year old wants. I don't know. I've never heard of a 10 year old wanting a dance class at their birthday, but hey, <laughs> if it made her happy, I was going to do what I could. So I went, it wasn't horrible, but it also was just like, that's not that's not the energy I usually spend um, on Saturday. Um, so a room full of 15, 10 year olds is just a lot. So, um, but yeah, I did that. It, you know, it worked out, nothing, nothing horrible happened. So I survived, um, but I'm gonna use that half box for that. And I'm gonna use one of these Toffee Bananas girls. She's kind of blonde, so it kind of works. <laughs> um, for the party and then I came home and I watched the autopsy of Jane Doe um which by the way guys that movie is frightening <laughs> I thought it was that it was just gonna be like um like a mystery type movie of like who done it but it was like a horror movie but I guess I should have like looked at that first that was my own fault um but yeah, so then Sunday, which is today, this is my like get it all together before the week starts day. Um, it is spring forward, so I lost an hour. But to be honest, I like have not felt the impact of that. So that's a positive thing. Um, I think I want to use another like Pimba planner, one of these guys for that. Um, I'm sure that tomorrow morning I'm going to be upset about this whole spring forward thing, but right now, 
can't tell the difference. So there's that. And then um, I've been doing homework today, so I'm gonna put in another one of those toffee banana like flat lays. Or I guess it's not a flat lay, but it's like the girl at the computer, if that makes any sense. Um, so I've just been trying to like get homework done, get studying started, because I have midterms this coming week. Um, which, oh boy, can't wait for, very excited about. Um, and then I also need to film, edit, and upload just about everything. So I'm going to use pink little ones. And these are also from Moonlight Paper Co. I can't list them, but they're really cute, so I don't want to not use them. So there's that. That looks wonky, but that's fine. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to put in another tidy up sticker because I have to, or I had to put like a lot of my um, laundry away and I just had like random things all over my room, which was not cute. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use another one of these strips of washi and then call it a spread. How about that? Let's trim this real fast. Oh, that's crooked. There we go. And just put that in the middle. And that's Sunday. It's basically just sitting at my desk trying to figure things out. But this is the completed spread. I think it looks really cute. It's kind of like a ton of colors. I feel like I could have definitely coordinated everything better, um, but I'm not mad about it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill everything out with my various black pens, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, guys, here is the spread all filled out. Like I said, I feel like I could have done a better job balancing everything, but I'm still very pleased with it. I love Mulan, so I'm glad I got to use these two sheets here. I do only have these few stickers left on here, so I will go ahead and throw this in my de-stash pile. Um, there's obviously nothing left on here, so I'm just gonna put that in the trash. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.